Hi guys, a lot of you have been asking about how to get a free and complete version of AutoCAD and here you have a solution. Today I'll show you how to download and install the student version of CAD 2015, which in my opinion is a far better option than downloading a crack one with viruses. This is EasyCAD for you and remember to like and share the video. First of all, in your browser, navigatorautodesk.com. Locate now the section where it says Education Community more or less towards the right. Click it now and it will take us to Autodesk Education Community page. As you see on the left, under Student Option, we have two categories. The first one is Secondary Students. In my case, I use College and University Students, so click it. Now our next step in this page should be selecting the software we want. Now, after selecting the one we prefer, our next screen requires us to register with Autodesk. Upon clicking the link, we have to enter all the required information. Country. I'm using US. Uh, mo some countries don't have this option, just to let you know, okay? Now, the date of birth. Make sure you enter the right one. The status. I will select here the student and it will ask uh, then what type of student. So go ahead and enter, in this case, college, university, in my case. Under school, enter the name of the school. Make sure you use a well-known one in your area. So I'll enter mine, in this case, is Florida International University or FIU. Now it asks for the school website. Uh, it's just to make sure it is legitimate, okay? So I'll double-check mine now for you guys so you can see it's real. Enter it there after you have it. Now, the account information requires first and last name. And of course, a user ID. An email address, which you will have to confirm or type twice. And finally, a password compliant with the minimum security standards. After all that, you agree to all three terms and conditions, and you're pretty much set to start downloading the software. So, click Next. Now, everything indicates we are already inside our account. Notice here that it says we have successfully signed in. Now, let me sign out for a second, and let's try to log back in. Now, select Sign In, enter your username and password, And you see we're inside again. Now, yes, we select the edition we want to download from the menu. I'm selecting version 2015, but you can go back up to 2012. Next, we choose the language and finally the operating system. Immediately, we have the license information in our screen. And after clicking the Start Now button, the license and service agreement pops up and we have to accept it to install. Immediately, we're prompt to download the setup package. I click Saved, and on my top right-hand corner, my browser indicates is downloading. After it's done, we just locate the installer and launch it. Within seconds, the actual download of the software will pop up, and it will start downloading. Then you will get to select what to install if the complete package or some tools and utilities. I click on the ladder to see what tools we have available and then just go back to install the regular package by clicking the install button. Again, we have the option of deselecting something here. Maybe you don't want the auto that's uh, 360, but I want to have it all. So confirm to install. Depending on your internet speed, it could take a little while or a long time to download. And although you can follow some news or quizzes while downloading, I hardly believe that you will want to do it. So take a break or do something else while it is downloading. After it's done, you will be prompt to restore the computer. Do it now and after restarting, you can use AutoCAD 2015. Of course, after launching it, uh, it will you will have to agree to the privacy statement. 
but see that after verifying the license information, the software will launch as a full version, complete package, full version, and this is a plus. Remember, uh, before the student version was very limited. Our intro page is this one from where we can visit the learn section and explore what is new or to create. You can go to the create section and from here start a new drawing. On the very top, we verify we're using a student version. And the good part about this that uh, so I already explained is fully functional. I'll just draw something here to prove it. So let me do this. And look for it on paper. Now we'll try to print really quick. And here we see the preview with no watermarks or anything else. So let's print it. Then here we have the PDF for it, confirming it works just fine. Well, guys, this is all for today. Remember, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Feel free to share your feedback and thoughts by posting. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. You can subscribe for more and certainly we'll see you next time.